Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Oregon Trail here on the Lord Master channel. And uh, yeah, the last video where we did the bitter winter, that was some scary stuff. When I say scary, I mean, you know, the whole idea of um, your wagon is broke as heck and then uh, you got low supplies and you try to survive alone until you link up with your companions. And then you're able to link them all back up. And of course there's a drawback that means more food consumption. Then you had to lower your rations. And uh, and among other things. <laughs> so yeah, that was a that was a scary scary experience. All the more reasons why you ought to not to travel during the winter. Ever in the Oregon Trail. Sorry to raise my voice briefly because, you know, I tended to be animated in such moments. But now, let's go on to another one of these journeys here. As these series of journeys continue here on this uh, channel. So, this one, we're going back to a uh, little bit of the challenges. Instead of the uh, more survival themed ones for now, as of this episode. So, for now, our next one is Tall Tales. Moses Harris and James Beckworth race against each other to earn the most pelts. Only the fastest will emerge as the trail's greatest hunter. So this one is going to be a bit more difficult because not only it's hunting themed, just like what you saw in my past videos, but you got to hunt more than the other guy, the famous James Beckworth. So it's all about pelt collecting. Score. And so, if you succeed, if if we succeed, we unlock traps. And I love having traps of how, you know, successful they were for me. Yes. So, let's begin this uh, attempt here. Tall Tales. Going back in time on March 1st, 1825. 37? By yourself? You cannot have caught that many. Surely I did. Barely took a week. How about this then? As we are both headed the same way, I wager that I shall gather more pelts than you en route. Ha! I accept. The result will put your ego to the test. If nothing else. I shake hands. May the best man win. I'm sure I will. We must endeavor to stay ahead of him. For if we fall behind, he will clear out all the game before we can. We should trade so we should trade for more traps and ammunition as well. We lack somewhat for both. Backwards parties just left here as we are in the Missouri River. So, let's get to know everybody here as I do per usual video. Moses Harris, he's a mountain man, skilled scouts and hunters. Mountain men and women are hardened explorers at home in the wild. He's heroic, shows great courage in the face of danger. He's also egotistical, self assessed to the point of damaging relationships. Well, of course, he's got an ambition. He wants to hunt more pelts than James Beckworth. That's his ambition. And accompanying him, Ellen, a physician. Physician, accomplished healers. Physicians keep travelers alive and healthy, even, even through the adversity of the trail. She's brilliant, understands the ways of the world, and is a vast learner. She's also wily, a chronic liar, frequently employing dishonesty and half truths. Then there's Isaac. The carpenter. Adept laborers. Carpenters are commonly sought after to repair wagons along the trail. He's charming, can easily compel those around him. He's also slack, unwilling to put in the effort necessary for success. What kind of carpenter are you if you don't put in the effort? And finally, we have Laura, who is a trapper. Oh, dexterous and cunning. 
trappers who make their living on the road, hunting and catching all manner of creatures. She is hedonistic, believes that pursuit of pleasure is the most important thing in life, and she's also athletic, healthy, strong, and enjoys physical activities. Alrighty then. What do we got in our inventory here? We got 15 bullets. We got a knife. So this is a knife. This sharp steel knife is a flexible tool. While most often used for hunting, it is small enough to be concealed and used in self-defense. It doubles the number of pelts gained from a hunt and has a chance to become worn. We also have two traps. Also got some meat. Oh, we have five pelts. No need to give any pelts away. It's not about money here. It's about competition. Though we'd like to have more traps. For um, more chances to get pelts. So. Willing to give us four traps? I go. Who's the charming one again? Isaac? Isaac. Alright. Charm the man. Stop it, sir. You're making me blush. He <laughs> compliments James. He strikes a deal. Hmm. And, you know, since we be hunting and we're going to be shooting a lot. Let's trade away most of our meat. Sounds like a stupid move, but, um... Huh. Aye. Every little bit helps. We have wheel grease, right? No. Because I would hate it to lose some pelts uh, along the way. I doubt there's anything to trade away. No, sir. Not terribly worried about morale. I just noticed that Isaac's max stamina is lower than the others. That is mainly because he's a slack. That's the reason why. Let's talk to some people first. Harris is hunting party stands by eager to begin the expedition. I am Moses Harris, mountain man, trapper, and adventurer extraordinaire. I am renowned across the trail for my heroism and bravado, and my talents as a hunter, climber, and fisherman are peerless besides. Needless to say, I am also a skilled marksman. Why, if need arose, I could shoot a house fly from the air at 130 paces. Beckworth stands no chance whatsoever at winning this. And this is a pleasure to see you, Ellen. We do not expect much trouble, but it eases my heart to know that you are here to forestall. Do not try to collide with or do not try to collide with or topple to anything. I'm a healer, not your governess. I see the road has not tempered your cordial but bedside manner. Is Isaac. You look unwell, Isaac. What is the matter? Remember, if the worst should befall us, it will be you who must fix the wagon. It's just nerves, I think. A worry that this competition will get out of hand. Every time you and Beckworth wax on uh, braggadocious, something gets broken. Or worse. We'll take it slow. Slower than the last time, at least. A little. A little. And finally, Laura. Hello, Laura. Ready to set out? We will rely on you to find us a clear path. Ready to win, more like. I will track Beckworth to the ends of the earth if it means taking home the prize. Whatever it may be. So, let's make it clear here. He's the shooter. He's shooting skill. Is for. Ellen is the healer. She's got the medical skill for Isaac's the carpenter along with some wit due to his charms and good looks and there's Laura who knows how to find a way 
so let's go and let's get it. Keep it ahead a bit back where will give us the advantage. Well, well let's make sure to hunt along the way. Should we lack, lack for supplies, we will visit fur traders to replenish them whenever when we can. So get get to the campsite and then to Pawnee Village. Seventy eight miles to the campsite. An advanced campsite established by James Beckworth. Gain coffee if you collect some meat, of course, and reach the settlement in, in six days to earn you some money. This is a fur trapper. A camp of a trapper looking to buy or sell furs. Trade for traps, bullets, or food. I ain't got no money. Let's go grueling pace. We want to stay ahead of the game. Hopefully we find a hunting spot to get us some meat. And we got plenty of traps also. Plenty of traps, correct. Guess it holds ten, since I see six of them. What's that? Laura spies a strange object on the distant tree. As the party draws closer, they recognize it as a beehive hanging from a branch. The beehive is likely full of honey. If gathered, it would greatly enrich the wagon's food stores, at the risk of great pain to whoever collects it. Who should collect the honey? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> that would be up to, you know. Let's get Moses. Oh, he's heroic. He ain't afraid of no bee. He launches himself into the task of various upon, gathering a large amount of raw honey, as well as great many bee stings. He returns to the high victorious, a bit very swollen. That's good. Got some foodstuffs just to keep us going. Oh. Hunting is ideally suited for those who spend time in the wilderness, requiring keen shooting skill and the ability to track prey through challenging environments. Those of low standard will be unable to carry as much back meat. Especially. Especially now that we have um, uh, plenty of traps. And we'll get more meat along the way too. Get to shooting. Harris examines the hunting ground ahead of him. Seems like he'll be able to find a few animals. Beavers, huh? Beavers are fast moving, so... <sighs> Make every shot count. much but it'll do but it's pelts is what matters here especially that we got a knife and as well as the traps to get us some additional meat so 50 pounds of meat back guess the traps aren't used but Harris can spend some time skinning the animals for valuable pelts or press down on Joe's his time no obtain pelts so Harris used a knife one knife zero one knives Eight pelts. Through skilled use of his knife, Harris salvages some pelts in no time at all. Unfortunately, the process dulls the knife, making it worn. Eight pelts. Jeez. 
tell you what. We'll hunt two more times. Guess this trap wasn't used. Guess the uh, traps aren't suited for beaver hunting, I guess. Go hunting again. How do slow pokes? Harris? That was James Beckworth passing by. beavers. Once we get some more meat I will uh, increase the rations just to keep us going. I'll hunt again because that's my thing. Let the master do his work. Make every shot count. Gonna be 50 pounds again. That'll get us plenty of pelts at this rate. But he fired some bullets, so ain't no way you're gonna get them with 80 pounds of meat. We gotta take some more pelts. Through the use of his worn knife, Harris uh, salvages some pelts in no time at all. Ten. Still works. A knife that's become worn from overuse liable to break. So we got 23 pelts so far. Further down the line, we gotta go get some more bullets. Is <laughs> it going beaver hunting again? Oh, 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 oh. Fill the fill her up. Because we eat tonight. Okay, one more time. I will not be able to get as much meat. Because, obviously... Three bullets left. Make every shot count. Pick your targets. Hmm. Kinda hesitant. Thought I got that one. Taint some. Four pelts and uh, the knife has broke. Let's go look for a trader. A cap of a trapper looking to buy or sell furs. See if we can get some more bullets. Arrive within three days. Oh, no doubt. We'll get some. We'll get some money and we'll figure out what we could do with that. We'll need to trade en route if we're going to have any chance of winning. We can't afford an extended stay though. We'll do one trade and move on. Though we have to choose wisely. Nice to see you, Harris. 
Haven't seen Beckworth pass by here yet, but I hear the two of you are competing again. Just try not to get carried away. What'd you like to trade? Hmm. Um, how many pots do we have? Oh, we got 20, 25, 27. Okay. I'll trade away some pelts for some bullets. I could give you five bullets for each pelt you have to offer. Five pelts for 25 bullets. That's a good trade. Here you are. A pleasure doing business. Crap. We'll get to the campsite, rest one day, and then we'll get moving again. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. I can't believe you beat us here. Not that it's a race, of course. Pelts will determine the winner, not speed. Well, we're a bit over halfway. How are you getting on with the pelts? Managed to get one or two? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like to lie, but for once, just tell them that we got 11. Underplay it. Make him think it's like, ha, huh, I'm, I'm ahead of you. I want him to think that. Eleven? Uh, that's not bad. But we managed to find twelve. Chin up, though. There's still time before we reach the village. If you apply yourself, you might get a few more. Remember that woman on the watch you just How could I forget a name like that? What about her? She's finally given in to my masculine wiles. She'll s she said that she'll marry me when the pine needles turn yellow. James Pine needles never turn yellow. What? Uh, that means... Oh hell, Harris! Why'd you go tell me that? Give it up. It's time to give it up. I think she made it quite clear that she's not interested in you. We'll see. I'm a persistent man, as you know. Anyways, let's get some sleep. I've got a competition to win tomorrow. Rested some more. Stamina up, got the coffee, got the cash, which I don't know what we could do with that since there's no store here. This is just a campsite. The din from the camp trappers and explorers is louder than the size of their group would suggest, making conversation difficult. So, here again, we have 22 pelts. And he says he has 12. So it's good that we're getting ahead. But, um, you might want to be careful with that spot there. Put that over here. Bullets here. Leaving this empty space. We need to find bigger game. Instead of hunting beavers. Alan. Ellen, it's been a honorous trip. How is the group faring? Well, we are stuck in the midst of a ridiculous competition between two grown children, but we are healthy in spite of that. Magnificent. We have won before you knew it. Mm hmm. Give me a moment before I talk to the other person as I'm just trying to, uh, having to. Think of things, especially strategy. It's like, should we keep on hunting beers or attempt to find bigger game to hunt? Which, uh, which would be good, I hope. 
mm -hmm. and then I will subsequently uh, again as I said step up your damn game just shoot 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 beavers and a uh, few other things and so on so forth hey no size the competition is really heating up I'm worried someone is gonna get hurt Laura I took a bit of Beckworth's cash when he wasn't looking I hope you don't mind got twenty dollars well you are quite a woman again this is due to her personality of being hedonistic athletic or either that or it's just you don't know I can imagine it's, it's a charming person's job and is wily but she done pickpocketing what's good for selling pelts if we can't you know get it down here besides a few toolboxes wouldn't hurt And you can get all the meat by hunting. Use your chance. <laughs> I'll be willing to um, give you some meat and make some room for the toolboxes. So we can fix one right now. Oh, one second. One second. God, dog it. This way. Fix it, damn you. Move that up here. <laughs> All the reasons why we need bigger game to hunt is so we can finally use these traps so we can get even more pelts out of it. Uh, look at the inventory again. Yeah, I got it all figured out. I'd like to have wagon grease. But I, that's doubtful that we could get any. Uh, where did that person go? Oh, well, never mind. I need some coffee. No. Not in that manner. Not terribly worried about the clothing, but... I saw the white grease option. That person just disappeared on me. So, now use that coffee get us ready for the day so Harris can go hunt there's some more meat all set and as the wagon breaks we'll start fixing and Isaac will do the carpentry work ready go this is not a race he says but at least I had to lie, I got 11. He says I got 12. <laughs> Thinks he could beat me, huh? We're headed to the Pawnee Village. A small Pawnee Village that seems to be mostly abandoned. 90 miles. Reach the next settlement in 6 days and all characters must survive. Well, obvious is obvious. I'm gonna get the monetary reward out here. <laughs> well. Get to shooting. I'm gonna go this way, and we'll figure out what this is, and then um, maybe it'll be revealed to us once we get there. <laughs> so let's get to shooting in the morning. Beckworth is nowhere to be seen. It seems he's left early to get a head start. Party continues down the trail in pursuit. Oh God! The wagon hits a particularly large bump and allowed to crack rigs up from the wagon. The wagon bed of canopies are damaged on a rough trail. While nothing is broken completed at this time, the party should consider repairing the damage before things get worse. We should attempt to repair the wagon. Isaac, you're the carpenter. Fix the damn thing. Alright. It's hard work, but Isaac the carpenter repairs a significant amount of damage to the wagon. Put it back here and here. We got a small little hole here. So fix that. 
you wouldn't want it if rain starts and then we then the pelts get worn down. Don't want that to happen in my conscience. Here we go. Beaver hunting again. you kill the more pelts you earn. Simple fact. Hoo-hoo! There's that bison there. Had it known to me. We ain't got no knife, so I no longer have the advantage to gather as much pelts as I like. So I've got to obtain them. Five pelts! Well done. We'll see what's down there. Hopefully bigger game. Several small tracks can be seen amongst the hunks of gnawed wood. This is clearly an, an area favored by beavers. It may be a good trapping opportunity. Yes. Place the traps. That's what they're for. Lara steps forward. Traps at the ready. She can opt to use more traps. Doing so will take more time, but be much more rewarding. Well, of course. We got six traps. Place three of them. Laura places three traps and waits 24 hours for returning. When she returns, nine beavers have been trapped. Giving us nine pelts and some meat. Yes, that's what this location is. This is beaver trapping. Screw it! Use them all up. More pelts, because they're taking up space with this. Eight pelts. Let's push on. Head to the, uh, bird trader. Although I'm gonna be dead tired, so you may wanna, you know, slow the pace down a little. I mean, we can arrive in a few days. So, let me do the counting here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35... 40, 40, 44. That's how much we got. 44 pelts. And we can go shoot some more. But we don't have the means to increase our stamina because I am overworking myself. So that means, unfortunately, based on my state of affairs, um, my state of affairs, someone else is going to do the hunting. Particularly you, Laura. Oh, God, dog it. Also, I heard an achievement sound. It's not a race, Beckworth says. Laura, it's your turn. As much as I would like to hunt, but I don't want to tire myself. Eesh. Lower shooting skill means less movement, but um, I, is the bullets travel slower? Because that I haven't figured. Yep, I'm moving slower because of low skill. Shit. Damn, can't really time it.
No. Soon all over the place. Damn it. Hmm. Not as good. That's the flaw of having a character of low shooting skill. Well, we did it because of stamina. Since you didn't get enough, well, last chance. Arrive within two days. Within one day. Unlikely. An ox is exhausted. What is that? A bright cluster of berry bush surrounds the nearby rock. A stark contrast with the dusty bronze of the trail. These uh, berries are not readily identifiable and may be unsafe to eat. If they are indeed edible, however, they make them fine to supplement of dried rations. Leave it! The party decides more decides must not take a fruit. Prudent choice, Isaac says. I eager they were tasty. You do it. I know you're not good at this, but bag us a few so we can get the last few pelts. We want to get far ahead of Beckworth. Make shot every count. Shit. Forget that rock there. I got three. One. No. Can't see another way. Again with this. Well, we won't be there in time, but we just want to make damn sure that we get all the pelts that we can carry. So let's count the total. Oh, I just saw Backworth coming in. So again, let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 48. That should be enough, I hope. Yeah, Backworth just passed me by while I was looking at the inventory screen. He got ahead of me, but Pawnee Village is 18 miles ahead or wherever the hell it is. I'm going to be exhausted at this point. So I hope what I did for that little strategy of mine better be enough for it. Oh god, here's this dysentery! Get the medicine! Hogs at last. Reduces max health and occasionally reduces health, and it's contagious. Oh, hell. Nothing we can do for that now. Can't believe that man got dysentery. Out of all people. But, about to. God! Dog it! It's a wagon wheel that's been uh, broke. Repair it. Isaac, fix that wheel! Good. Being skilled in such matters, Harris quick, uh, Isaac quickly repairs not only the faulty wheel, but the wagon as well. Not my ten pelts. Although, no holes in it now. He did it with skill. Forty-eight pelts. We're coming in with 48 pelts. And we're dead tired. And Harris has got dysentery. So did I win? That's the real question. Well, here we are. We managed to gather 48 pelts. 48. Not bad at all, Harris. Though together we managed to find... Don't you bullshit me. 
you managed to find just 32 pelts I'll admit it you won Harris even though you were a bit slow to get here cuz I'm because we're tired don't you know all that fur trapping and hunting the trapping and shooting can really tire a person well played old friend even if the better man was the victor after all ha might have expected as much this would sting if I'd lost to anyone other than you at least we left you with a story to tell even if I'm sure to put your own spin on it. And I had dysentery too. <laughs> the competition was fierce. Yet, Moses Harris had merged as a victor. Oh, the tales of these two friends that tell their adventure will surely echo throughout history. Moses Harris was able to one-up his longtime friend and rival, James Beckworth, in a friendly competition. He certainly earned his rights to brag. Though Beckworth might remember things a little differently when he writes his diary. Got the trap. Love that item. Served me well in the Oregon Trail. And before we close this um, episode, let's check out what we unlocked for these little entries. James Beckworth. Win against Beckworth at James Beckwith was a black trapper and mountain man, known for both his skill as a fighter and his penchant for questionably authentic stories. Most famously and controversially, he claimed to have become a chief of the Crow people. Ezra Mika, Five Journeys Complete. Born in 1830, Ezra Meeker made his life's purpose to prevent the Oregon Trail from being forgotten. He traversed the length of the trail many times over the years by making the journey by wagon, train, car, and finally by plane before his death at the age of 92. Wow. Personal articles. Wagons. Complete journeys with three different wagon types. Far from the simple white canopied conestogas of public imagination, the wagons of the trail were far more colorful, brightly painted, or, em or emblazoned with art and slogans. Hmm. Complete 50% of journeys, the Santam Wagon Road. The Santam Wagon Road, linking the Willamette Valley with Central Oregon, was built during the 1860s. Today's U.S. Highway 20, also known as the Santam Highway, closely hews to this path. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's all we have for this um, episode here today. <laughs> that was a very good challenge. I'm glad that I only traded a few pelts just to get more bullets so you trade for traps shot a couple of beavers and a few other things and then trade some of the pelts away to give me some more bullets to shoot to get some more and then we trap some beavers to get even more pelts 48 pelts <laughs> and the other one got 32 so by the other you mean James Becker so that was a good strategy I came up with there <laughs> had to play smart which I most of the time often do so we hope you people have enjoyed this episode so we'll see you on the next journey but until then so long for now <laughs>